motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings and peace, family. Queen here. Another great episode for you today. It is Saturday early afternoon. And in this episode, we're going to talk about self-care and self-love. So let's get into the present moment. Let's take a couple of deep breaths and get into the present moment. All right, it always feels good for me. Hope it does for you. So I hope your week has been great. Um, again, we're going to talk about self-love, self-care in this episode. And I've been doing so much self-love this morning, I almost forgot to record this episode. <laughs> and it just dawned on me. Hey, you didn't do your episode for today. So anyways, here I am. So apologies for it being late, but better late than never. So what is self-care and self-love? You know, we see um, a lot of people now are getting into self-care and, and self-love. I've seen quite a bit of uh, athletes in the Olympics to have different stories about, um, you know, resigning from the competition or whatever because they needed to take care of themselves, either mentally or physically. You know, growing up, for me, I never really had a model, per se, of self-care and self-love. The model that was presented to me was more akin to self-hate, really. Um, I just, I, I never, I never really had the model, you know. And um, I know it's not just me. I know it's other folks out there as well that have probably not had a model of self-love. And that, that stems from, you know, generations and generations of trauma, uh, generations and generations of abuse, self-hatred, and all of this type of stuff, right? So, you know, maybe you're like me and maybe you want to break the curse, you know, within your family and break the, uh, the uh, generational curse that has, has gone through, you know, your family for generations. So anyways, you know, um, I had to actually create my own model of self-care and self-love because if, if you don't have anything to to kind of um look at you know because our, our parents or whoever raised us they are our, our first gods really they really are so we mimic everything they do everything that they say even if we don't do it on a conscious level we do it subconsciously so if they haven't released their traumas and released their self-hatred, we take on that, you know, at a subconscious level. And it plays out in various areas of our lives. And we don't even realize where this stuff is coming from. But that's exactly where it's coming from. So I make it a point. I make it a point to each day. My intention is to love myself unconditionally and my intention is to spread love unconditionally that's one of my little mantras 
So you might say, okay, Queen, that sounds good, but how do, how do you do that? You know, how do you, how do you get to that place where you can start to feel that way? Well, it's going to come through your meditative practices. You're going to have to, if you're right now, you know, you're in a state of depression or you're in a state of um, not feeling 100, as they say, or you think maybe you're not beautiful or maybe you're not enough. You know, all of these different self-limiting thoughts. You've got to change that program because that's definitely a, a program that you're running and it's, it's not serving you. So you want to change your frequency, change the vibration. I've got many episodes talking about this, all different types of ways where you can change your programming. You know, put in the affirmations of who it is you are choosing to be right now in this time and space and write out those affirmations and go to sleep and listen to those affirmations. But some of the things that you can do on a physical level, you know, if you're a woman, you can go get your hair done. You can go spoil yourself, manicure, pedicure, massage, um, eyebrows, all of this type of stuff. You can do. That's self-care. That's self-care. More things that are self-care. Getting rid of people that are not benefiting you. You know, I can't tell you. Sometimes um, I have associates and their associates that hang out with them are so, so low in their vibration. And so I have to leave my associate because their associates are in such low vibration. And see, for me, I love myself to a point where I don't care if your vibration is not equal or higher than where I'm at, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I don't care. It could be family, mother. It could be uncles. You know, it could be anyone. But I love myself enough. I love myself more than enough to protect my energy field. And that's one of the things that I'm firm on. I don't waver in that. I don't waver in that one iota because at the end of the day, my energy, my frequency, my vibration, my energy field is totally up to me. And the same thing goes for you. So like I said, this morning I was late recording this episode because I was doing all this self-care. You know, I was doing my yoga. I actually uh, got up this morning, got up fairly fairly early about 6 30 i don't usually get up that early i i will usually open my eyes when the uh, sun comes up i will open my eyes but i'll drift back for maybe like another hour or two but this morning i'm just full of energy you know i've been on this detox i'm 20 days into this water fast so i was just feeling this energy so i just got up you know started doing my yoga my meditation loving on myself you know, and just, it, it was it was awesome. And uh, about three hours in, um, about three hours in, I got drowsy. I just had this overwhelming, drowsy feeling, you know? And I'm like, where is this coming from? But because I'm on this detox, I had to listen to my body. I had to love myself enough to say, you know what? Your body is telling you to lay down and take a nap. It needs to regenerate something. So I lay down and I took a nap. Took about a 45 minute nap. Got back up. Phew, full of energy again. You know. <laughs> so you know. As, as far as your health goes. And things like that. Listen to your intuition. You know listen to yourself. Trust yourself. If yourself is telling you. Nah maybe we should skip that party. Listen to it. If your intuition is telling you, nah, I don't think I want to hang out with that person. Listen to it. That's self-love. That's self-care. You have to care for yourself more than anybody else. 
No one is going to love you and care for you as much as you should. You should not expect anyone to care for you and love you more than you love yourself. You teach people how to treat you by how you treat yourself. That came from my great grandmother. She would always tell me that. She would always tell me that. So there's no way on God's green earth that you should allow somebody to treat you less than you treat yourself. That's self-hatred. That's self-harm. That's not self-love. I'm not telling you to go around here, you know, punching old ladies in the face and kicking little kids down on the sidewalk. But what I'm telling you is you have to have the courage, the strength, the stamina, the self-love to operate at a very, 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 very high level for yourself. So, you know, do those things. Do some fun things for yourself. Do some loving things for yourself. Don't expect somebody else to bring you the love and the care that you need. Give it to yourself. Give it to yourself. So anyways, this is a love message. So if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you. Queen loves you. I love you. Peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.